and welcome again to the challenge. And uh, as you know, and as I know, uh, God is good all the time. First and foremost, I want to thank God for the opportunity, the honor, and the privilege to come before you. This is your servant for justice, Russell Williams. The Capitalist Manifesto and Mortimer Adler, uh, the distinguished scholar, philosopher, uh, says the first goal of government is to obtain justice. Uh, we cannot obtain a political democracy, ladies and gentlemen, without an economic democracy. Everyone should have the ability to participate in our economy. Thank God this morning uh, we uh, do, do not have a government shutdown. Uh, the government decided in the last hours, the wee hours of this morning, uh, to put something together that uh, would allow it to continue to function. Uh, those who uh, have the uh, distinct privilege to uh, decide on whether or not uh, uh, our system is capable of running itself and uh, capable of delivering us the services that we are entitled to and we deserve have found a way. It's amazing. Uh, when pushed to the limit, what uh, uh, those of us uh, will come uh, uh, and make a decision towards. It sounds to me like uh, uh, only when compelled to do so do people do the kinds of things that they are uh, put in place to do. Um, I'm often very miffed at the fact that uh, the people who are elected to public office uh, suddenly have amnesia when they get there and feel as if it's their responsibility to decide for us rather than to represent us. Uh, it seems to me that it is backwards. And it's at all levels. I mean, it's at the local level in your uh, city councils. It, it's at the uh, state level with your legislators and even at the federal levels with your legislators. It seems to me uh, that we've almost made those folks demagogues and they are instead of responding to the needs of uh, the people they are reacting to uh, the needs of a few. Uh, they ha uh, want to be a part of those folks who are in power and those uh, uh, that political machine uh, that separates them from uh, the folks that they're, um, they've been sent to serve. It is unjust, and I think that we must work towards correcting those injustices. Good morning and welcome to the challenge again. I say to you, as I always do, uh, my definition of justice is to, uh, as, Ju as Jesus has said, is to love one another as I have loved you and to love your neighbor as yourself. This is the challenge, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the challenge is to think outside the box. In Hosea, the fourth chapter and the sixth verse, it says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt no be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of God I will also forgive thy children. In Proverbs, in the 29th chapter, and in the second verse, it says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. In Proverbs, the 29th chapter, 18th verse, it says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to examine where we are. All around us, there seems to be uh, some desolation and uh, there seems to be tremendous uh, poverty in a country where th that is so great, so rich and has so, uh, uh, so much. How can it be uh, that we have forgotten uh, that we are our brother's keepers? Uh, oh, I know that there's a lot of good out there and I know that good continues uh, to shine 
And I know that there are people who are doing marvelous things. But unfortunately, uh, I think that there's uh, probably no need for anyone to have to suffer the, the shame of homelessness and the shame of poverty and be embarrassed to be uh, a part of, of, of this country. Uh, I think, unfortunately, there are those who feel left out and those who feel disenfranchised. Uh, we need to find a way for all of them to participate in uh, this great country. And that's what we try to do here at the Challenge. We have been working for some time uh, now to, to get the word out about the Coalition for Capital Homesteading. Uh, there is an event uh, uh, scheduled for April the 15th. Uh, in front of the Federal Reserve, the Coalition for Capital Homesteading, homesteading is the uh, uh, combined effort of uh, at least 15 or 20 groups, uh, the Greater Hartford NAACP being one of those, uh, will meet in front of the Federal Reserve and ask that all people uh, be allowed to participate in this economy. We've got a plan. And the plan is to empower every individual in this country. Uh, the time has come. Uh, the time has come for the next leg of the civil rights movement. Are you ready for the second American Revolution? Yeah! yeah. <laughs>